This tutorial will explain how to make a copy of your assembly. It's not enough to just save the file with the new name. If you want to change the shape of your assembly, you also need to copy all the components from your assembly, starting from the parts and ending up with the drawings. So to do this, we will use a separate tool which is called Assembly Copy. Now we're gonna see how it happens. First, let's start the tool. Now the Assembly Copy loads assembly structure, including drawings and presentations. Now at the first step, we need to set a new folder. Once the folder have been set, we can define the new file names. So in this case, we will use the replace tool, which allows you to find the value and change it with the new one. Now we need to pick the column that will be affected by this command. And you see the results. Let's change the part numbers too, because we want to see the changes in our browser. So let's go for a prefix and suffix, and add the suffix for part numbers. Now we are ready to make a copy. open the file, just click on this link. As you see, visually file looks identically as the original one, because we haven't made any changes. If you want to make a changes to the model, you need to go to the skeleton level by activating one of the parts and choosing a skeleton file. And now let's change the size of our skeleton by changing the width. Once the equation have been changed, we can go back to the assembly level and see the changes here. So now we need to generate the holes using Sculpt tool, apply new material scheme, and then you're ready to automatically generate CNC programs, drawings, as well as the bill of materials. Now we finish up our basic trainings, so I wish you good luck in learning our software. See you, bye.